using a swatch test for the Artist Loft watercolor pan set. It has not yet been opened. I purchased this for the purposes of review. This is a very popular set online, um, especially among um, card makers and brush letterers. I reviewed the Angora set, which is strikingly similar to that, and then mailed it off to a friend, but I recorded, I reviewed that on the blog in 2015. So if you're interested in seeing how the Talon Angora set stacks up against the Artist Loft watercolor plant pan set, please head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com and look for it underneath. <laughs> The review section and the watercolor section should both have it. So this is a 36 piece set. It's in the Artist Loft of Fundamentals line and it includes a natural hairbrush, wide spectrum of brilliant colors and dissolves easily. The colors are black, blue, blue, green, buff, burnt umber light, chrome yellow, cobalt blue, coffee, deep gray, deep green, deep orange, deep red, fluorescent pink, lemon yellow, light blue, light brown, light orange, light purple, light rose red, light yellow, olive green, orange, pale pink, Prussian blue, purple, raw sienna, red, reddish brown, red purple, rose red, sap green, sky blue, vermilion, viridian, white and yellow green. So I think it's up upside down and but not in any particular order so okay the list on the back is not the order that these are in so it's basically useless because none of these colors listed are official pigment names or give any indication of the pigments used they're just sort of like um uh popular color names so they are actually not useful so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing and I think I ordered this set from Amazon, but it is commonly sold at Michael's. But I may have purchased it on at Michael's, you know. Now, my standards for watercolors are quite different from those of brush letterers and card makers. I do prefer to use multiple layers when painting with watercolors and if I'm looking to only do a couple of layers I usually just go for the Sakura of America Koi um, Sakura Koi pan watercolor set so this in general would not be a set that I reach for the colors are very bright in the box and I mean it's an attractive package just as the pearlescent set is an attractive package comes in a clamshell case where the these little plastic pans, which you could theoretically mix your colors in, they actually magnify the color and make them look a little more shiny and have a little more depth. This is that natural hair brush they promised us. If you watched my review of the uh, Artist Loft Pearlescent set, you'll know that it's not a very good brush. So this is another brush to go in the garbage can. Instead, we are going to use the Creative Mark Rhapsody Kalinsky Sable Brush, and that is from Dick, no, that is from Jerry's Artorama. Talk about it all the time, I don't know why I messed that up. So, um, usually with pans of watercolor, I would drop a bit of water in them and activate them, but these are very chalky watercolors. So I'm just going to add some water, and mix them straight onto the paper. And the reason they're chalky is um, for inexpensive watercolors, they often mix in chalk or talc to make their weaker pigment seem brighter and more saturated. And that's great if you're only going to paint one or two la layers. It's really bad if you like to do glazes, if you like to do washes, if you like to do multiple layers of color. So that's why these can work really well for sort of simpler illustrations or simpler um, techniques with, that only require one or two colors, but they really don't work well if you like to do very rendered illustrations. In fact, these are not what I would call artist quality. They're not what I would call student quality because they kind of perform on a different 
level. And right now the colors look really brilliant. They look really nice. But unfortunately, like I said earlier, it's going to take a field test to really show what they're made of. Once we start adding layers upon layers is when we're really gonna see how well these perform. However, if you, um, and I may end up keeping this set because I have been wanting to dabble with some like cute, very simple watercolors. So this is a good way to sort of limit myself because the colors themselves will limit me. You can also, um, with the Angora set, I tried to use them a bit like gouache, but because they're so chalky, that was a problem. Gouache has other, um, other things in it to make it more opaque and the colors tend to mix a bit better. However, this seems like a bright, fun set. I think it would probably work very well for scrapbookers and card makers because it's very compact for what it is. You get a lot of colors. Um, the colors seem very saturated seem to pop off the paper. You could probably even paint with these on colored papers, which is something you can't, I mean, you can do it with, um, ooh, that's a nice purple. Uh, that's something you can do with um, traditional artist watercolors, but you know, you get varying effects. Your mileage may vary, but these might handle colored paper a little bit better. Not that there are too many colored watercolor papers, but you could maybe even do like a tone with a nice watercolor and then paint on top of it with these. I wouldn't want to go the other way because glazing is going to make them muddy. But the colors, like I said, are very vibrant. I'm actually very impressed at how nice and how well some of these colors seem to pop. This could be fun for like uh, floral illustrations that are just really sketches. And it doesn't take a lot of work or a lot of scrubbing to activate these watercolors, which is something with nicer grade pan watercolors, they often require a period of time where you let the water soak in. So uh, that might not be the best for a field watercolorist who has a limited window to paint with. Um, these are, uh, on this channel, I reviewed the Grumbacher opaque watercolors and I've used them in a couple videos, but I haven't used them uh, on camera too much. And I find that these colors are actually mm, mm, maybe more preferable than those in that set. They just seem like nicer colors. And I'm honestly kind of surprised that I'm saying this because I rag on artist loft. I've, there are very few artist loft prod products that I don't hate. So like I said, these are not artist quality. They're we can do an archival test or um, a light fastness test. Probably not gonna like the results of that but these definitely can have a place in your studio. I look forward to seeing you guys again really soon. As always, it was a pleasure. Bye guys.